Then there was a question on the new company portal, and I know that one showed up in your tenant literally yesterday. Yeah, it's been a very recent. So um, Matt was asking, how do I get the update for a company portal? Well, if it's available to your tenant, um, it should come down automatically through a Microsoft Store update. Um, but f if you're not seeing it in your tenant yet, my answer is to just wait. Uh, it's not the answer that I like to give, um, but uh, as Johan mentioned, I just received it in my tenant, um, in two different tenants actually. And I know of folks that had the update two or three weeks ago. Um, and it you seems like it. it's, oh yeah. Accessible. Cool. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let us know when I can share your screen. Yes, sir. Uh, give me just a moment. Hope that was the right password. Yes, it was. Uh, you can share it. I'm just logging into one of my VMs right now. Yeah, I recognize that username. <laughs> I thought you might. Um, so it's a nice facelift, I think. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, it just with it being a rolling update, um, it, it's just a matter of when it hits your tenant, it seems like. Let's make a note to myself to run the remove admin auto logon uh, script against these VMs. Uh, oh, it's helpful to have on testing stuff. So It is. I have, that's the only reason that I haven't removed it from the unattend file when I do deploy these VMs is because it is helpful at first. But then once I'm using these VMs for demos and things like that, I've got a separate script that I just run against them to remove that. All right, let's see. So uh, if we pop this open here, check out the company portal. There we go. Um, so you can see here, it's not a totally new company portal, but it is a facelift. Uh, the intention was to make it a little bit easier for users to get to resources that they may need or want. Um, so you can see some of the applications are, um, are, are focused right here on this home page, um, as well as the device that you're on pops up right here. Um, I didn't notice too much of a change in this area. Um, not to say that there wasn't one. I don't know if we had this multi-select option in the past. Uh, Let's see, I have one that I can open up. No, you do not have multi-select in the detailed list, no. Yeah, okay, so that's that's actually no, cool. No, you do, you do. You Never do. mind, I okay. was in the wrong, yeah. Uh, well, I just learned something that's been around for a while then. <laughs> Unless I also got the new one. Um, yeah, it, it, at any rate, whether that's the new one or old one, that's pretty, I like that. Um, so just a couple of, of uh, quality of life improvements there. Uh, Matt did ask which version this is, and I believe that is in settings here, 11.2.1002.0. So this is the new stuff. Yeah, the, 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 I definitely have the old one because my settings doesn't look like that. Okay. And was there, uh, was is the search bar new too? Yes. I don't okay. have a search bar in mind. So I could just search for Notepad, and there we go. Now I have Notepad. Um, I mean, there is a search in apps, but it's on the left pane, and it's not yeah. like a common one for the, 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 the portal. Okay. It's becoming so, Outlook. <laughs> I have the search in the top. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, hopefully... Not uh, losing any features, though. 
Yeah, no. All right. Cool. Thank you, sir. Yes, of course.